once upon a time, only a few years ago, there was a forest in Alaska. The forest didn't have a name, but people referred to it as Saddam Woods, since it was located near a city called Zedman. All kinds of wildlife could be found here, some fierce and some friendly, but all together it was a place for relaxation and sightseeing. Near the edge of the forest lie a clearing. From there you could only see the mountains and the beautiful sky up above. To truly understand its beauty, you'd just have to see it for yourself. No one ever knew about this spot, except for one person. His name was Ben. Ben was an 11 year old boy who only had one wish, one desire, and that was to go to space. He dreamed of exploring the realms beyond the moon, like the solar system or the galaxies. Since he was a toddler, he knew that his dreams would one day come true. So, to pursue those dreams, he planned on making something he referred to as the Super Rocket, which can take anyone from Earth to Neptune in just three days. Obviously, he was incapable of doing so at the time, so he had to work up to that point by building smaller, simpler devices. But first, he needed to find a place to build it. He found a cave where a couple grizzly bears used to live. Without a doubt, this cave would become a secret hideout. So we got to work immediately. It took months to move all the furniture and other accessories into the cave, but by the time it was finished, it looked just like a five-star hotel room. The base consisted of a living room, a bathroom, a bedroom, a kitchen, a lab, and a hidden room in the back that can only be opened for special reasons. But he didn't build this place on his own. Bill was one of Ben's best friends, and no, they are not related. He was the youngest, tallest, richest, and to the girls, most handsome member of Ben's acquaintance. <coughs> and Jeff was his other best friend. He wanted to be a doctor, but most people expected him to be a comedian because of what you just saw him do. But that's just him. And he also does get on Ben's nerve because <laughs> he goes a little bit too far with the prank sometimes. And so, the three musketeers, or the three scienteers, begin brainstorming their very first original invention. But they would soon discover that it wouldn't be as easy as it once seemed. And that is where our story begins. Okay, any ideas? Nope, sorry. <sighs> Been three days and nothing has come up. Why is this so hard? Well, Jimmy Neutron managed to do it. He was like, what, 10 years old? I just don't understand. Jeff, what about you? Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Jeff. Jeff! <laughs> what just happened? Do you have any ideas? Well, uh, what exactly were we talking about again? We're done here. Oh, come on. You can't just walk out the door like that. We just started. Come on. Just a few more minutes. I know something will pop up. Hey, I know exactly what you need. A box of chips. Enough said. I already tried it. It didn't work. Okay, let's just think about this tomorrow. Okay? Okay. 
Hmm. I thought chips worked. Hey, don't worry about it, bud. He'll be fine. I know a little something that would cheer you up. I've got Terminator on VHS. Wanna watch? What? You have Terminator? Better believe it. What? Then what are you waiting for? Put it in! Put it in! Okay, go, go, go! Okay. Wait a second. Where did you pull that tape from? Okay, let's get this straight. Maybe, just maybe, we could build a genuine... No, that won't work. Mm, come on, Ben, think. <laughs> Oh, what's the use? It just won't click. Might as well call it quits. Ugh, not again. One day, one day. Hasta la vista, baby. Say, Bill, where'd you get this copy from? Oh, my parents just bought it when it first came out on video. Oh, really? Yeah, the quality's still pretty good after all these years. Mm, that's good to know. You know, I was just wondering. You did it again! Uh, did what again? Where'd you get that popcorn from? From the kitchen? Why? What do you mean you got it from the kitchen? You were sitting here the whole time. Don't you remember? I went up to go make some popcorn five minutes ago. Bill, you are one confusing human being. Say... Have you considered being a magician? You know? I never thought about that. I am pretty good at doing tricks. I've always been interested in music show. I mean, sorry, magic shows. Um, they're pretty good. I always wonder how they do those crazy little things like um, cutting women in half or, um, what do you call it, bringing that rabbit out of the hat? That's my favorite one, um, bringing the rabbit out of the hat. I wonder how you do that. Do they, do they actually have a rabbit? Can you actually spawn the rabbit out of midair? I was curious about that. Um, if I could, I'd just spawn a million rabbits. I'll explain why the rabbit population has increased. So, um, yeah. Uh, you okay over there? I'm sorry, bro. I'm just distracted by these darn flies. They're all over the place. Well, what do you expect? We're in the forest. Yeah, I know that, but there shouldn't be this many flies in the room. Well, just, just get some bug spray. Uh, with us opening that front door so many times, it is going to keep coming back stronger than ever. You know what would help that? A machine that can keep flies from getting inside your doors, even when they're wide open. Maybe a spray that can kill flies, but you can still breathe in it. Yeah, I get your point. That would be kind of useful once you think about it. That's it! That's it! That's it! What? 
<laughs> Jeff, Jeff, you're a genius. I am? Well, thank you. Uh, why am I a genius again? Jeff, don't you get it? The machine you just described, that's our invention. Oh, I get it now. Good for me. This can't wait. We need to make designs right now. Blueprints. Bill, go get the blueprints. On it. Jeff, we're going to be rich. It's going to be at the top of everyone's Christmas list. Generations to come will wonder who invented this genius device. And when they search Google, they'll see our names. I can see it all now. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right there, buddy. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Don't you think we should give this thing a name first? We shall call it the Fly Terminator. Well, it took three weeks, but the machine is finally finished. How do you feel? Proud? I hope, because both you worked hard on this one, and I'm proud of you. But there's still one thing left to do. We have to run a test to see if this machine actually works. You guys ready? Let's Woo! do it! All right, let's get started then. Jeff, would you do the honors? Certainly. Okay, where is it? Where's what? The fly. We need a fly to test the machine on. No! Go get it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, now that we have the fly, we can finally test this machine out. Bill, get that thing ready. It's ready. Jeff, ready with that fly? Ready, Freddy. Okay, well in that case... Release the Kraken.
Hey, yeah, don't worry about it, bud. You gave it your all. At least we stunned the fly. Yeah, that's progress. And besides, we still have the ma- Shane. Oh! Would you look at the time? Um, I better be going home, Ben. I'll see them all. Yeah, I better be going too. Take care, bud. So how long do you think this will wear on him? I'll give it a few days. He'll shake it off sometime soon. One day, 